From the back of this pickup truck, a small group of volunteers allows us to document their hunt for water for families living in swelling, thirsty tent cities. The signs are everywhere. We need help. We need water. We're traveling the streets of Port-au-Prince where, quite honestly, the biggest commodity is simply the water here. In the back of this pickup truck, this huge plastic tank, and the gentlemen driving the truck tell me they're, they're headed to fill this. When I ask them how many people will drink it, they said it's impossible to tell. There's so many people who need it. On the sidewalk, we notice people carrying jugs. Oh, buckets. Where were they finding the water? Behind this gate, we find armed UN peacekeepers, a small storefront, and our answer, water for a price. And this is $7, this jug right here? This man told us he scrounged up the money and then walked for blocks to get here. His children need the water. How do you know if the water is clean? You don't know. Where does this water come from? This water from... Wow, that's a good question. That's a good question. It turns out the salesman buys the water from trucks that actually drive it in from wells on the outskirts of town. He then uses his own purifier. What about the people who ha don't have money to buy water? Where are they getting it from? I don't know, but uh, the, the oh are making supposed to send water to, to, to give the people? You're asking me. I'm asking you. Back in the truck, we look for those wells outside town so too, an and, and we find them. Water from deep beneath now pouring from the pipes, and we are struck by the waste. They treat the water, and soon after, we arrive at a tent city. Has anyone delivered water before now? The line multiplies before our eyes. This mother tells us she has been waiting for a week. You will use the water for what? You're hungry. The International Red Cross had set up four of these so-called bladders that clean the water and then deliver it through spigots. Four of them in a city of three million. This eight-year-old boy proudly carries his own full bucket. Is this heavy? He takes us to his home, a small tarp held up by sticks of wood. His mother waiting, and we tell her how he impressed us so.